Hey guys, this is Rodolfo from Remotive. I'm commuting to you through stand-up desk today. And I couldn't be more excited to spend some time to talk about fully stand-up desk and the Capsico chair. So why are we going to be discussing stand-up desk today? I've been lucky enough to work with two different types. The manual type, the crank up type, that's the one you find at IKEA, where you have to crank it up. The problem with those is that even though they're cheaper, you hardly ever happen to be going up and down because it requires a lot of manual work. The second kind is the automated one, the electric one, and that's what fully is. Um, I've used those at work in the past and at times I've had issues, mostly because some of them have been unstable, meaning that if you were on the highest position, they were a bit shaky and a bit unstable. As you can see here, this one is pretty solid and I could not be more excited to get into it. So, Fully was kind enough to send me a copy of the Fully desk and a few accessories and it's been about a month since I started using those. So I'm ready to tell you all about what I found, the things I like, the things I did not like too much and uh, let's go! I've been lucky to work remotely for 5 years and through my journey I realized that ergonomics is so very important. Especially since I've been prone to back pain, I've been giving this a lot more attention. What you're looking at right now is Fuller's smaller desk. I only have a limited space so I could not fit a bigger one, but it's absolutely awesome. I also use a Capsico chair and a shelving unit. The chair is made in Norway and you can feel it's a very high quality product with a lot of attention to detail. Since it's been specifically designed for stand-up desk, it goes extremely high, so I had a foot ring added as well. And you can also turn it around to work uh, the opposite way, which is kind of nice. When I do decide to work uh, on a stand-up position, I have a mat called Movement, and that helps you to reduce fatigue when you're standing up for hours on end, and I really enjoy that as well. Um, my desk is shared with my furry co-worker Thor, uh, who often takes over the keyboard and sort of does his own thing, but again, what you're gonna do about it. You really enjoy the desk. One of the crazy things and feature that I've been loving here is the memory panel that the Jarvis offers. Especially if you are a few people using a desk or if you'd like to work in various position, this memory headset helps you memorize what height you were at so you don't have to keep guessing, you can just put the setting you like. The desk is made out of bamboo, it has a high quality feel and is holding up absolutely great. I also had installed options that are uh, grommets and wire tamers so that only a couple of wires are visible, the rest is snugly fitting underneath the desk, which makes for a neater setup as well. Okay, so that was a review of the desk. Now let's talk about the pros and the cons. I've been using this desk for about a month and I've got to say that I absolutely love it. Uh, one thing that has changed dramatically is that having a very neat space to organize my home office with taming wires, with uh, all the neat setup that comes with the Jarvis stand-up desk has been awesome. I find myself working from a lot more than I've been working from my co-working space and that's pretty great to have a space where you feel comfortable working. Also, in terms of ergonomics, this is really great. Uh, I feel that I have less back issues. I feel like I'm very comfortable working from the stand-up position or seated down and that has made a huge difference as well because I've had back problems before and that's very important to me. Now, let's talk about the thing that maybe could be improved. Um, when you first get the delivery of the desk, it's quite easy to assemble. Uh, one of the things is, there are so many dials and buttons on the chair, for instance, that one of the things that could be improved is uh, for fully to offer maybe a 15 minute uh, Zoom session with a physician that could help you go through the setup and make, it, uh, make sure it's set up for your height and for your setup as well. The second objection I hear all the time is the price. Uh, this stand-up is optimal, it's absolutely great, but it is not cheap. Now, I like to think about it a different way. Uh, when you think about IT, when you think about technology, I meet tons of people who are super excited to spend $1,000 on a flight to go somewhere work from a beach or to spend $1,000 on the new iPhone or some technology. Now think about it, if you're ready to spend that much on gimmicks or on travels, what would you be ready to spend it on your own back and on your own health? 
because a lot of us work in technology and we're going to be doing that for 20 years. But if you work on a $20 chair and you're not set up properly, well, that's money you're going to give to the physio down the line. So for your own health and for investing in a setup you're going to be keeping for 10 plus years, I fully recommend this test. All right, guys, I put some links in the description and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.